everyone, Rachel Varga here. I'm a board certified aesthetic nurse specialist. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys an overview of how to use your dermal roller at home. And this today we have joining us, my lovely husband, Gabriel. And Gabriel, you've been using your roller for a number of years now. Tell us what you've noticed with the changes in your skin over time. The most significant change has been the depth of the forehead lines. Whereas before, if I just had a neutral expression, you would see them. But now it's got to the point where you can only really see them if I actually move my face. So that was a big one. Uh, some redness in the face has gone down. Mm -hmm. That's another big one. Reduction in like the, the depth of your acne scars. And then the acne scars, yes. Yeah. Most of them have, for the most part, gone away. Yeah, and your skin looks plumper. It looks thicker because we're stimulating collagen with the dermal roller. And also, because you're a pro athlete, uh, Gabriel's a six-time pro world champion kickboxer, you've gotten a couple of scuffs on your eyebrows, so this helps with scarring. Probably 60, 60 stitches yeah. now, mostly across there and down through there, yeah. and, and people can't tell. And yeah, you wouldn't really good, be able to tell. Yeah. Yeah, so great for acne scarring, scarring in general, but also thickening and plumping up the skin. If you're curious about how collagen induction therapy works, which is basically another term for dermal rolling or, or microneedling, there's just a ton of studies online. Just do a, a quick search on PubMed and you'll see 30 years worth of research. So this is a really well-backed option, at-home option, for stimulating collagen. So I work with a couple of different brands and the brands that I choose to work with are companies that have been making dermal rollers since the 90s. These were some of the first companies that actually did the initial research on how to basically improve scarring with this microneedling option. So I don't recommend that you try and research whatever the latest influencer is saying or this ad on Facebook or whatever, or looking on some of these auction websites because a lot of times you're getting knockoffs of these rollers. They might look the same, but they could be full of heavy metals and just not made very well. So this roller here, you'll recognize this, these rollers that are very well made, either in, uh, one of them is actually made in South Africa, one of them is made in the US, and these are the top two companies in the world in my opinion and they can last up to two years some of these other rollers that you'll find off some of these auction websites say you know two or three pack for 20 to 30 dollars but they're just terrible quality you really pay for what you get so basically you've used this many times mm -hmm. and how you use it is really simple when you're working with a really good product, what's gonna happen is it's actually gonna come with instructions. But I'm gonna give you a quick overview of, of how to do dermal rolling at home and what you can kind of expect. So we already talked about the benefits of dermal rolling. This is a great option if you can't afford to do a laser treatment or injectables, but you still wanna do some type of at-home, cost-effective, and you know safe option right everything always comes with risks and if you're unsure if something's right for you always check with your physician this is considered educational entertainment and it's not to be taken as medical advice if you need to find out what's right for you you can book a consultation with me or see your doctor so what we do when we're ready to roll the skin is we wash the face so it's evening now you know you're you're gonna get ready to go to bed soon and so say for example, Gabe, we're, we're rolling Gabe's face. So basically the, the pattern is we're going up and down about 10 times. So every time you move to a different section, paintbrush-like pressure, you're lifting it. So it's not like you're going like this, you're going like this 10 times and you're moving over 10 times and you're moving over 10 times. And then you go horizontally 10 times, 10 times, 10 times. And then you go on an angle. Okay, and then an angle on the other direction. So basically you're doing a plus and then an X. So you're basically doing an asterisk. A great way to remember the size that you can be doing is do a little heart. Okay, so like the cheek is a heart, right? The side of the nose, the upper lip, the chin, the temple, the forehead, the other temple, the neck and the chest. So do sections like that as opposed to, you know, trying to go all the way from like the the chest here all the way up to the neck. You don't want to be doing that. So basically you're doing four passes in these directions all over the face. 
When it comes to the eye area, you've had a really great result with um, improving your scarring around your eyes. Uh, basically, you're wanting to use the roller along the bone, right? Just along the bone here, and you're not like going like this, you're going like this. And you're constantly lifting and going in straight directions, you're not turning with it. And then when it comes to the neck, you're, you're basically going, you know, like this, lifting up, moving about 10 times, and then just go horizontally. But don't do the other two angled passes. Two pass, one or two passes should be just fine on the neck. And then also on the chest, you know, go to the top of the bra. Obviously, you don't wear bras. But for the ladies, we, we wanna do the chest. We wanna really protect this nice decollete and keep the, the collagen in the skin nice and plump and youthful looking. So, you know, two passes for the chest is good, two passes for the neck, four for the face. And you don't wanna overdo it, otherwise what's gonna happen is you're gonna have this crazy histamine response. You're gonna get a lot of swelling, you're gonna get a lot of flaking and irritation. So, how you end up incorporating your dermal roller into your routine, first of all, you meet with someone like myself, go ahead and book your consultation with me to learn more. And I get you set up with your at-home skin routine, cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen, scrub, you use that for two weeks. Then use the active ingredients and actives that you want to be using with your dermal roller can include things like hyaluronic acid, lactic acid, copper peptide, glutathione, vitamin B, vitamin A, and just to name a few. But you need to use products that are determined and researched to be safe and effective. Because with the little needle, we're basically punching like little holes into the skin, much like aerating the lawn, and then you're putting your products on over top. So you're not just rubbing them on the surface, they're actually penetrating a lot deeper. So you need to use products that are ultra clean and are designed to be absorbed very deep into the skin. And basically what the needle is doing is it's creating a controlled injury, it's collagen induction therapy, therapy or CIT, and we're stimulating the fibroblasts, which makes collagen strands. So that's the whole aim of the game here. We wanna make collagen that's gonna make the skin smoother, it's gonna make it plumper, it's gonna reduce acne scarring, it's gonna reduce scarring you know, from traumas, eye bags, upper lip lines, things like that. Like you literally look younger than when I met you 10 years, 10 years ago, it's pretty cool. And really good cost-effective strategy. It's really great for brown spots too, because the roller is actually puncturing you know, down past the keratinocytes, which actually are what make melanin in the skin, and then you put your different solutions, your products on over top, and then it helps to suppress the melanocyte production, which is like contributing to brown spots, melasma, things like that. So, you wash the face, you do your rolling for, how long does it take you? I'd say it usually max out every night at about five minutes. Yeah, yeah, and then you put your products on and then you go to bed. So, don't let anyone touch the face. Every time a patient uh, has a consultation with me, and purchases a roller, I send them home with like my full dermal rolling cheat sheet guide. I really take the guesswork out of it. Uh, and then the next day you follow it up with your products. So you, you start with your routine for two weeks, then you use your actives for two weeks, and then you start to roll. And you've probably started rolling what, like once or twice a week, and then you bumped it up to how many times a week? Uh, I'd say five or six. Yeah. But the first couple of times I rolled, it got a little bit red. Mm -hmm. My face got noticeably red for, I don't know, 20 minutes to half an hour. But no like bleeding, it's not painful. No, 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 no. Just, yeah. just a tiny little bit of, of redness. Yeah. And then once I got up to three or four times a week, the skin didn't really look aggravated. And now that I do it five or six times a week, it doesn't even really, it may, maybe two or three minutes where it's slightly, slightly red. Yeah. And that's yeah. it. Yeah. So it's not about doing deep needling, right? That in the clinic you're gonna need like a numbing cream for. Actually what a lot of the research shows is if you're doing just consistent at home needling, it's really creating a beautiful dense type of collagen. And there's, you know, 16 plus different types of collagen out there. And it, at home dermal needling creates a different collagen than say your lasers are gonna be doing. So it's a really great in conjunction therapy. So you can do your face, your neck, your chest, anywhere really, where you have skin laxity or stretch marks, scarring, things like that. But for the guys, we like to do our edges, right? Guys like to do their edges. Same with women too, like after childbirth with hormonal changes, menopause, we lose hair too. So what you do for that is you wash the skin and then you do your rolling, you know, the same, this direction, this direction, and then your X, and then you put your product on. And so the product that you use with, with uh, 
uh, at home rolling for hair growth is either an over the counter or prescription, and I get into what that is when I meet with you. And after you're done rolling, rinse it off, right? Put it back in the case, let it dry. You're basically just inspecting it, making sure it's clean before you use it. If you notice there's some debris, just use like some anti antibacterial pump soap, let it spin underneath the water. And once a week you could, you put it back in this little cradle here. It's this great little uh, holder in here. You could put like rubbing alcohol or put like a denture cleaner in it, let it sit for like 10, 20 minutes, take it out, rinse it, you're good to go. So once a week you could do a deep clean with it and then every time you use it, just give it a quick rinse, visually inspect it. Uh, so if you get any irritation, stop use, consult with your physician. Uh, if you're ever unsure and before you make any uh, change your lifestyle, check with your doctor as well. But there are some skin conditions that you can't use dermal rolling for. So during a consultation, I kind of go through if it's gonna be a good option, if it's gonna be worthwhile, and what depth you're gonna need, what type of roller you're gonna need, and also the products that go with it. So you never wanna just try and guess which roller is gonna be great for you and buy off a random website. You're gonna be far better off working with someone like myself and I can show you how to use it. Cool. Well, I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, send me a email. You can reach me. My contact information is below in the description of this video. And you can book your one-on-one -on -one virtual skin consultation with me. And I hope this gave you a little bit of insight into how to do dermal rolling at home. All right, have a good one, everybody.